Hey guys, this is Linda, and I guess by the way I'm talking, you can tell I've not been feeling well. And um, uh, it got to the point where I went to my physician, and I do have insurance, but it's really crappy insurance. Um, now, I have pneumonia, and I, the, you don't have to say, oh my, or anything, this is not what it's about. What it's about is, I'm going to show you something really quick. Um, you see this? This is empty. I've had pneumonia before. My insurance covered this. This actually helped me when I had it before. And before any of you go crazy on me, um, this is a, the person I went and saw is a homeopathic doctor. And I've done everything, you know, possibly that I could to get rid of this. And so I've used this before. And when I had pneumonia, and this is what we put me on, and, um, the pneumonia, I, it went away, it worked. So I go and take my prescription, uh, prescriptions in today to the pharmacist. And my insurance says um, they're going to cover, you know, my prescriptions, all but the really the one I really need, which is um, this one. And I said, okay, I'll pay cash for it. It's not a big deal. And they said, oh, no, you don't understand. If the insurance company says you can't have it, you can't even pay cash for it. Plus, she said it's rather expensive. Now, you know, what is expensive? She wouldn't answer my question of what expensive is. I mean, was it $30, $50, $500, $80? How did the pharmacist know I couldn't go borrow money or something if it was really expensive? So I call my doctor back. He calls a pharmacist and says let her buy her prescription because we had just discussed Obamacare and under the new Obamacare laws there's going to be a big conflict with what doctors say you need and what insurance companies are going to let you have. Now you heard what I said I said I don't really care what the insurance company says I'll pay cash Federal Reserve notes whatever you want to call it the paper for this this is empty um, However, they said no. That is the first taste of Obamacare, guys. If you need something that could help you get well and your insurance company will not cover it, they're not going to accept cash for something you need. So, I'm going to do the best I can to get through this and I'm going to actually go back Monday and see my doctor and we're going to figure out another plan of action. I think right now they're trying to find another doctor who may have samples of this medication because it's what I need. Um, it's a real crappy situation. There is no generic for this medication or anything else. So with Obamacare, your, your physician can say, you need this, and, and you know that it has worked in the past, and you go there. And, and believe it or not, in the beginning of the year I had pneumonia, and um, I swear I think we're in a petri dish of, besides the Fukushima and the chemtrails, um, they used to test here in Washington State with biological weapons, like in Oakville, Washington, where the gooey stuff was dumped on them and a lot of people got sick. And I'm right down the road from that place. So the beginning of this year I got pneumonia. This is what I was given, and it, and it worked. Now I have pneumonia, and it's like, just go home and suffer through pneumonia. You know, you're on your own. Whether the doctor wants to help you or not, this is Obamacare. So I got my first taste of it today, and there's not a damn thing I can do about it. Even if your doctor prescribes you something, if the insurance company says, no, you can't have it, you can't have it. So I don't know. Do we have to get a black market open for doctors and and just something to get you well, and I'm not even talking about narcotics or anything. I'm talking about medicine to get you well. So, I mean, this is kind of insane. So it doesn't matter now. They are going to control every way you live. Now, I will survive this, so don't worry about that. I've got a good doctor on my side. But I'm just letting you know what you're in for now. And um, as far as this government goes and this Obamacare... They can kiss my ass, I mean, and I don't think the doctors are going to be very compliant with this once they find out how people they care for. I mean, even their own family could be sick, and if the insurance company says no, that's just how it is. So 
Things are going to probably turn upside down here really fast, folks. And all I'm saying is, um, you know, we got to figure out a way to beat this empire system. Go back to what is, you know, at least a little more humanitarian than someone telling me what I can't and can't have if, if a physician has wrote it. And like I said, this is not a narcotic or anything. This is just medicine. I'm just letting you know what a taste of Obamacare is going to be like. And it sucks. Peace, love, truth, and I'm out of here.